backpack style diaper bags that are the exact same price. The mainframe wide open diaper backpack and the Forma pack and go backpack. Similarities first, both of these bags are really spacious and designed with shoulder straps to allow you to be hands free, which is a huge plus for me being a mama of two very little ones who still need a lot of stuff. They each have a zippered extra wide opening and inside you'll find two interior pockets and a convenient separate space which houses an included cushion changing pad. On the outside of each bag, you'll find a grab handle for easy toting, two insulated side pockets, two front pockets with a cell phone holder, and stroller clips. Last similarity, although the fabric looks different on each of these bags, they are both water resistant but that means they are spot clean only and not machine washable. Now here are some of the differences. When it comes to structure, the Forma uses storage cubes to help you store things and place them in specific pockets, while the mainframe takes a different approach and gives you an extra large opening so you can easily see where you've tucked things away. The backpack straps on each bag are adjustable and comfortable, but the Forma has cushion straps. So I find them to be just a little more comfortable than the one on the mainframe, which are made of a soft fabric. After using them both, I found with the Forma backpack lacked in style points, it made up for in functionality. I really appreciated the storage cubes to help me stay organized on the go. The mainframe though is less plus with more of a bucket style for easy accessibility. And the sleek design was definitely
Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is in collaboration with Miss Fong diaper bag brand. And this diaper bag is so nice, you guys. This video is going to be a what's in my diaper bag for my two toddlers. I do have a one-year-old and a two-year-old and I carry around both of their things in one bag. So I have recently been using this diaper bag and I absolutely love it. The quality is amazing and I know that y'all will love this diaper bag too. There are different colors. There is black, brown, and gray and I preferred the brown color so I chose brown and I love it. So I'm going to get into showing y'all the details of this diaper bag as well as showing y'all the essentials that I carry around in my diaper bag so I'm not overpacking. A lot of people will overpack their diaper bags and realize it, that you have so much stuff in there that you really don't need to carry around. So let's jump right into the review of this diaper bag as well as some diaper bag and mommy tips. So to start off with, this diaper bag is genuine leather. It's really nice and it has the name brand plate here on the front, which is Miss Fong. It's so nice and so spacious, you guys. I love this diaper bag. The zippered pockets are gold, so I am really loving the gold color. It looks so good with this brown. The inside pocket here is thermal. So if you put a bottle in there, it should stay warm for a while, or a sippy cup with some milk in it, it should stay cold for a while. And this pocket is also insulated, which I like to keep the baby wipes in, just because you don't want your baby wipes drying out and it keeps them a good temperature. The multi-uses of this bag and the ways that you can carry it, you can carry it on your shoulder, or you can just hold it like that. It also has backpack straps which I really, really love. I typically wear it on my back and you can adjust it. It also has stroller straps, so you can strap this onto your stroller. Now that you've seen what the outside of the diaper bag looks like, I'm gonna show y'all what the inside of it looks like as well as everything that I keep inside of it on a day-to-day -day basis. So whenever you unzip it, the inside just looks like this. So I will take everything out of it so you can see what the actual inside looks better. Um, I really love this. It's to like clip your keys on, I think. I do believe that's what I'm going to use it for. I will clip my key ring to this so you will never lose your keys. They will always be clipped right.
loved bag features some really great perks like a zip out, diaper changing station, multiple carrying options, and tons of space and pockets. My son Justin is a year and a half and my little girl Holly is due in December and I really needed to find a diaper bag that would fit everything I need for two kiddos under two and that also wouldn't be super heavy. And that's when I did my research and I found the Boxy Backpack. It's a favorite among babyless parents for a lot of different reasons. But first and foremost, the thing that really separates this bag from others is the zip out changing station. This built-in changing pad unzips from the exterior pocket and it's thickly cushioned. Once unzipped, you'll also find pockets which are perfect for storing diapers and wipes. An adorable wipe case is also included and it fits perfectly into this space. The changing pad is able to detach from the bag if you wanna use it in a smaller space, wash it, or if your kids are just old enough that you don't need to carry it around in your bag any longer. It's such a convenient feature and it makes changing your child in any situation just a little bit easier. Another really awesome thing that I love about this bag is all the different carrying options. It comes with a strap that you can use for crossbody or on the shoulder wear, has a grab handle for quick tolling, includes stroller straps to hang it off your stroller handle, and has straps on the back of the bag to wear it as a backpack. The straps have the ability to unclip and be hidden away when they're not in use, so the bag always looks very put together. I've never used a backpack style bag before because I really felt like all of them kind of lack style, <laughs> but I have to say the Boxy Backpack has the best of both worlds. It's super functional, all the while also having style. And because you can use it as a backpack, I can put so much more in here without being strained by the weight. And I also really like that I don't have to worry about my bag falling off my shoulder when I bend down to reach for something, which used to happen to me all the time. Now onto my favorite part of the Boxy Backpack. It has a ton of space and the perfect amount of pockets. Aside from the changing station on the exterior of the bag, there are three other pockets. Two very generous size bottle pockets and a large pocket on the back, which can also be used to tuck the backpack straps into while not in use. In the interior, you've got a key clip, two more bottle pockets, a zippered mommy pouch, and two more good size pockets. The interior is so spacious, I will have no trouble at all finding room for all the things I'm going to need for two kiddos. The main compartment unzips really wide so you don't have trouble finding all your belongings. And it also features a double zipper. And if you've ever previously owned a Petunia Pickle Bottom boxy backpack, you'll be happy to note that they've upgraded the front flap and it now has a magnetic closure with snaps for extra security rather than the Velcro closure. The boxy backpack is made beautifully down to the last detail. The straps are really well made and have a seatbelt feel to them. It's got protective feet for the bottom of the bag as well as all metal hardware. The interior and exterior of the bag have a waterproof coating, so it's very easy to just wipe your bag clean if it ever gets dirty. This pattern is the Bedford Avenue Stop with the embossed polyester fabric. Now here are a few things to keep in mind. First off, this bag is not machine washable. Because of the waterproof coating that is on the bag, you can easily wipe it clean if it ever gets dirty. None of the bottle pockets are insulated, but I did find that the pockets are so large that you should be able to fit a bottle that's in a insulated pouch in this pocket still. Also, this bag is large, so I really suggest that you buy smaller bags to put within it so none of your items get lost to the bottom. And with more space, that means you can put more in it, which is awesome, but that also means that the bag can get heavy. But I didn't find this to really be a problem because I can wear it backpack style. Two things that I do wish I could change about this bag would be to add padding on the shoulder straps just for that extra comfort. And I think the zippers could also be a better quality. After using Petunia Pickle Bottoms Boxy Backpack,